Hello guys, this is Tim Solo from Ahrefs and today I'm going to show you how to create linkable assets for your website. Linkable assets are simply awesome pages on your site that you can use to attract backlinks over and over and over again. Uh, they're not that easy to make, uh, they should be absolutely phenomenal, otherwise you won't get any backlinks. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create them. You're watching episode number 17 of the Oversimplified SEO. So what are the main challenges when it comes to creating linkable assets? There are only two of them actually. The first one, you need a killer idea that is guaranteed to bring you tons of backlinks. And the second, you need an audience of people who are very likely to link to your page. And here's how you can solve them. Step one, to find that killer idea, you can A, check if your competitors have any good linkable assets and create something even better than they have. And B, research your niche and find out what kind of content tends to get a lot of backlinks. Step two, to create a list of people who might link to your linkable asset, just find and note everyone who are already linking to the linkable assets that you have discovered in step one. And that's pretty much it. Now let's dive a little deeper into the strategy and look at some examples. Okay, so this is the href site explorer tool and I'm going to use it to find the linkable assets of uh, our competitors. Well, not actually competitors, but when it comes to creating content in the marketing niche. There are quite a few competing resources. And one of them is an awesome blog by Neil Patel, which is called quicksprout.com. I'm sure uh, you've heard about this blog. So let's check it. The linkable assets of this blog, quicksprout.com, uh, would obviously be the pages that have the biggest amount of backlinks. Uh, the biggest amount of referring domains actually because it doesn't really matter if one site is linking to you a hundred times as much as it matters when a hundred sites link to you only once and actually I can solve this issue by uh, going to a simple report uh, that is called top pages and that's it this is the list of URLs on quicksprout.com which is sorted by the amount of referring domains, the third column. And just by looking at the titles and the URLs of these pages, I can quickly see uh, quite a few linkable assets. For example, this advanced guide, guide to SEO is definitely a linkable asset. Uh, now there's an advanced guide to content marketing and the definitive guide to growth hacking. So as you can see, Neil Patel from Quicksprout has created quite a few great linkable assets. Now remember when I told you that if you want to create a linkable asset, it should be an absolutely perfect, awesome page. Now let's check the steps that I have just opened and see what kind of linkable assets Neil Patel has. So the first one, the advanced guide to SEO. As you can see, this page has custom design with lots of visuals and the guide is divided into chapters. There are quite a few of them. And this page is actually the introduction to the guide. So there you have the button, take me to the chapter one. And it brings you to yet another uh, customly designed page with lots of visuals, explanations. And overall, it looks pretty awesome and it's quite big. As you can see, I'm scrolling and scrolling and it seems to never end. So this page perfectly illustrates something that SEOs call a linkable asset because you just can't help but link to this amazing guide. And as you can see, this uh, the advanced guide to SEO has brought 613 backlinks to Neil Patel and his website quicksprout.com. And if we open the other two guides, you'll see that they follow pretty much the same formula. Awesome design, lots of content, 
lots of visuals and you have something that would be called a linkable asset You'll, and this linkable asset will attract tons of backlinks to your site. So this is the third one. As you can see, all follow pretty much the same formula. So as you can tell, if I decided to create a linkable asset for the topic of, of growth hacking, I already have a solid competitor here and by looking at this existing guide, I can tell how much work it would take me to create something better. What I'm trying to say is that when you see some awesome linkable assets that were already created by someone in your niche, you can try to create something better and piggyback from their success, like uh, reach out to all these 613 websites who were linking to this guide and show them your updated version. But if you're not able to find any great linkable assets uh, that were already created by your competition, I think that's actually better at some point because you don't have to waste a ton of resources and to come up with something that would be better than a piece that's already awesome. And that would be pretty much it for this episode. If you can find some great linkable assets on the sites of your competitors, what you can do is try to create something better and then check everyone who were linking to the original resource and show them your piece. But in case you're unable to find any existing linkable assets, that also is great because you will be the first one to create it and you don't even have to compete with anyone else. That's it! I hope you enjoyed the idea of creating linkable assets on your site and I encourage you to go and create one. I'm sure you'll get quite a few backlinks by doing this. And now I want you to do two things. Uh, if you want me to answer your question about SEO or marketing in the next episode of Oversimplified SEO, please send me an email at teamsolo at hrefs.com. And to make sure that you won't miss my answer, my video answer to your question, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure that you're going to get every next video that I'm going to publish. And that's pretty much it for today. See you in the next episode. Bye!